One teen detained and two others released on expedited appearance tickets after a car is stolen in Brighton Monday night. Natalie Kuchko spoke with members of the Brighton Police Department today who say while this isn't necessarily a new tactic, it is being used more frequently across Monroe County and in Brighton because of the significant rise in car thefts. Natalie joins us in the newsroom with more on the story. Natalie. Yeah, the vehicle in question here was taken from a senior living facility on Linden Avenue last night. All three suspects are 15 years old. Police tell us this method is especially needed now to accelerate the turnaround process in court or probation. These expedited tickets, they're, they're given the ticket and they're expected to be in probation the next business day. Two of three teens issued expedited appearance tickets Monday night after police say they were found on Linden Avenue with a stolen vehicle attempting to take another. Sergeant Keith Woodard with the Brighton Police Department says they, along with other law enforcement agencies in Monroe County, are utilizing this more. As he describes, Brighton has seen a, quote, exponential rise in car thefts compared to last year. We've had a lot, and it, it they're, they're doesn't seem to be a break right now. Um, I'm hoping that changes with this process and more and more of these juveniles uh, having accountability right from the get-go. Police say this brings a level of accountability to suspects where they're urged to return immediately and not on a period of up to two weeks or more. Was it a long road to get here, would you say? Certainly a winding road to get here. There's been a lot of changes over the last few years with uh, Raise the Age and um, it was constantly evolving until kind of where we're at right now. So winding road, I think, is a good term. Now, the two teens of the three were released. As Brighton police tell us, no remaining beds were available at the county detention center. We have reached out to the county for comment on this. A spokesperson tells News 8 there's no such thing as, quote, full capacity for the center and says the county does relocate individuals as needed across the state. In the newsroom, Natalie Kuchko, News 8.